Hello, everybody, and welcome to Healing Connection, where we could be your supporting light for better mental health. Short story series for better mental health stories and insight to motivate and educate. In this short story series, I'll be sharing the story, the story of the frog. Once upon a time, there were two frogs. These two frogs were best friends and did everything together like brothers. One was fat and the other was thin. No matter their differences between them, they got along really well. These two frogs were always looking for trouble and adventure. One day, they were hopping all over the countryside. They saw a farmer place down a bucket in front of the stable. Now, out of curiosity, they wanted to know what was inside the bucket. They hopped over as fast as they could just to see what was inside. Since the bucket was so big, they couldn't see what was inside. So they jumped up and yikes, they ended up inside the bucket. The bucket was filled with milk. The two frogs couldn't get out because the sides of the bucket were slippery. At this point, the two frogs were just swimming around and just kept swimming. No matter what the two frogs did, they couldn't get out. After an hour of swimming, the bigger frog had said, We have been swimming for a while. There is no need to keep swimming. How long can we honestly keep paddling like this? We are going to die. No one is going to come and save us, nor will we turn into butterflies and fly away. The smaller frog replied, now hold on, big brother. Someone will get us out eventually, as long as we don't give up. Keep paddling. You will not drown or die. The frogs continued to paddle for hours. The bigger frog said, I'm tired. I can't go on anymore. There is no sense to keep going. We're not getting out anyway. All of a sudden, the bigger frog, defeated, stopped swimming, turned to his friend and said goodbye. The little frog, still in disbelief over the passing of his friend, couldn't hold back the tears. He got determination from within himself and kept paddling. The passing of his dear friend gave him the strength to keep pushing. It was nighttime at this point when he realized due to all the paddling, he had turned the milk into butter and he realized he was able to jump out of the bucket, he let out a joyous yelp, woohoo, as he landed back into the forest. He was excited that he survived that dangerous situation. His heart still ached over the loss of his friend. He was in no position to save his friend either. Once his friend made the decision to give up, he was doomed. On that note, you will never lose as long as you don't give up. Years later, he married a lady frog and had many frog children. He named all of his children after his old friend to keep the memory of him alive. He missed him so dearly. Every night, he would tell his frog children the story about what happened to him and his friend and how his friend gave up. He told them this story so they would never give up in life. When life is hard, one must be harder and smarter. Never give up. If you or anyone you know needs emotional or mental support, you can reach out to us at www.healingconnectionhc.com. We look forward to hearing from you.